a bacterial gut infection will often cause diarrhea and stomach pains. And yet I feel nothing. To find out why, I met up with Helena Helmby, who studies how worms interact with our immune system. You have a very fine collection of worms here. I mean, some of them I recognise, tapeworm. This one um, I'm less familiar with. This that? is the Ascaris. This is the large round worm. The thing that puzzles me is how do these worms evade the human immune system? Because, I mean, these, some of them are huge. Yes. Uh, and we have a very, very sophisticated immune system, which is constantly on watch, guarding against any microorganism 24-7. Uh, but these uh, large parasites have actually developed a very sophisticated way of uh, dealing with our immune system because they have evolved with us for thousands, if not millions of years. The worms have evolved mechanisms to dampen down our immune responses by secreting compounds that manipulate our immune system. That enables the worms to survive, but may also have benefits for us. The worms are allowed to stay because the immune system realizes that the attack to kill them would be far too dangerous, really, for the host. Uh, obviously, you don't want a massive inflammatory response in your intestine because that would cause a lot of damage to your intestine and that would be dangerous for you as a host. So there's some sort of an uneasy truce <laughs> between the worm and the host in this case. It is extraordinary, isn't it? Yes, absolutely fantastic. <laughs> You're a fan, eh? Yes, I love them. So, our bodies have evolved a kind of ceasefire with the worms. But in a modern technological society, most people spend their lives worm-free. Some scientists believe this may have contributed to the rise of allergies. It's known as the hygiene hypothesis. So you buy the idea, do you, that um, one of the reasons we have this huge surge in allergies is because we're just not exposed to as many worms or microorganisms as we used to be. It's quite possible because that particular arm of the immune system that, that reacts when we get a strong allergic reaction to grass pollen mm. or something like that is also the same arm of the immune response that we use to fight parasites. Uh, and of course, if we are now not having these parasites, perhaps that part of the immune system doesn't really know what to do with itself and, and it sort of goes off and reacts badly to, to innocuous uh, allergens such as grass pollen or mm. cat dandruff or whatever it is you're allergic to.